Switzerland is a beautiful country that is most commonly known for its mouth-watering chocolate and snowy mountains. It is also one of the top travel destinations in the world due to the beautiful scenery and host of activities that it has to offer. When you are traveling to Switzerland, you are probably expecting a holiday that you will never forget. I mean, traveling is expensive enough as it is and you certainly will not appreciate it if the trip is a disaster and all of your hard-earned money has gone to waste. Let us first take a look at what you want to avoid when traveling to Switzerland. Before we start, please subscribe the channel and hit like button and share the video. 1. Crowding If the streets are crowded to the point where you have to dodge and duck other tourists while you are walking the experience may be less than pleasant. That is exactly why you should plan your trip in such a way that you avoid the peak seasons when tourists flock to Switzerland. So, let us take a look at some of the things that you should avoid when you are looking for the best time to visit Switzerland. 2. Weather conditions. Are you a winter person or a summer person? I know that I am most definitely a winter person. However, it is important to realize that Switzerland may have weather conditions that your skin is not used to adjusting to. In winter there is usually a lot of snow which may sound like a winter wonderland. However, if you are planning to travel to Switzerland to see the snow, it would be wise to not only bring warm and cozy clothes but also to take a look at the weather forecast to make sure that your holiday is not ruined by a snowstorm. 3. A lack of activities. This point brings me right back to checking out the weather conditions before scheduling your trip. You may want to experience some ice tubing or you might want to brave the snowy hills with a skiing expedition. However, if your trip is scheduled during a snowstorm a lot of these activities may be closed for safety purposes. Also, if the snow slopes and winter wonderland are what you are hoping to find then you would need to make sure that you do not schedule your trip during a season when it doesn't know. Planning is essential and timing is everything when you travel to Switzerland. When is the best time to visit Switzerland? At the end of the day, the best time to visit Switzerland is completely up to the purpose behind your traveling to the beautiful country in the first place. There is more than one best time to visit Switzerland and it will differ from person to person. So, let us delve a little bit deeper into this concept. 1. October. October is the best time to visit Switzerland for the lone wolves out there who want to avoid a stampede of other tourists, blocking all of the roads or if you want to avoid standing in long queues for hours while waiting to take part in one of Switzerland's adrenaline pumping activities. Switzerland's weather temperatures are quite chilly during the month of October but the weather is manageable as long as you pack a few warm coats and a pair of earmuffs. So, what makes October the best time to visit Switzerland apart from the fact that there are no crowds? Ride, hike and ski in the best time to visit Switzerland. Well, for starters, October is the start of Switzerland's hiking season. You can brave the mighty hills and explore parts of the mountain that you would not be able to access during the snowy season. Also, due to the fact that there are not a lot of tourists around, the prices for a stay in a hotel room drop significantly since it is their off-peak season. If hiking is too much of a workout for your vacation wishes, you can always go for a boat ride at the breathtaking Rhine Falls. The waterfall is giant in size and it leads your boat down a smaller part of the waterfall so that you can have a splashing adventure. Just be careful not to fall in love with the falls or you might cancel your trip home. The next activity that makes October the best time to visit Switzerland includes skiing and cable cart rides. During autumn the snow already covers the ground but it is not as excessive as it is in the middle of winter. The autumn festival is also a great activity for those who want to experience the wonders of Swiss culture. Ride, hike and ski your way into the holiday of a lifetime. 2. July. Is the idea of snow and freezing temperatures sending shivers down your spine? Are you more of a warm weather kind of person? If so, then July is the best time to visit Switzerland. As a matter of fact, this is the best time to visit Switzerland for both cold haters and those of you who love the outdoors. 
You won't have to worry about bringing warm coats and you definitely won't have to worry about frozen toes and shivering legs, since the weather temperature will be perfect for a casual outdoor stroll and flip-flops. But what do you do in Switzerland without the snow? Best time to visit Switzerland Well, believe it or not, you will still see snow on the mountain peaks when it is summer in Switzerland. However, now that you don't have to work yourself up over freezing water temperatures you can go on a thrilling jet boat ride at Interlaken. The boat ride is not the peak of the fun that this activity has to offer. As a matter of fact, you will have quite a few tour options to choose from. For starters, you can embark on a boat journey that will help you to immerse yourself in Swedish culture. The boat will lead you through a variety of small villages and towns that will allow you to see parts of Sweden that you would not be able to see during the winter season. If you would prefer to take a nighttime cruise you can experience a few hours of living in luxury with a beautiful evening cruise that offers scrumptious dinners on board. Experience winter and summer at the same time. You can ski down the slippery slopes while your children build snowmen and throw snowballs at each other for a full and fun-filled family adventure. This is exactly why July is the best time to visit Switzerland for those who want to experience every aspect of it. You can choose your season and your activities. If you get tired of the heat you can take a trip to Gestad for a swift change to winter. On the other hand, if the snowy mountain sends too many shivers running through your body, you can go on a boat cruise and experience Swedish culture in summer temperatures. 3. September Attention all travelers! Here is another one for the lone wolves who want to experience the serenity that Switzerland has to offer, as opposed to dealing with large, loud, and overexcited tourists. September is the best time to visit Sweden if you are hoping for a peaceful experience to help you relax those tense muscles. September offers the last stretch of warm weather before the snowy season starts, so you will still have enough time to explore the Swedish waters and bask in the warm summer heat. One of the adventures that you can embark on includes a variety of hiking trails through the breathtaking Swedish landscapes. You can take a casual stroll through the woods climb up rocky mountains or take in the beauty of what looks like a thousand colorful flowers that sway in the wind in the lush, green meadows. 4. November November is the best time to visit Switzerland if you are looking for more culture and less extreme activities. Unfortunately, November is the most unpredictable month in Sweden. Not even the locals have a way of telling whether the snow will start falling or not. Here are a few small villages that surround the mountains that you can explore to immerse yourself in Swedish culture. The houses in these villages are laden with snow so you will get to feel like you have just walked into a small winter wonderland, while you learn more about the cultural aspects of visiting Sweden. If you are looking for even more thrill and adrenaline pumping activities, you can try out paragliding at Interlaken. In other words, you can soar through the sky and take in the views below while experiencing a minor thrill of danger. The Zurich City Tour with Ferry is also a great way to have a relaxing and culturally rich day out in Switzerland. Float gently over the crystal clear waters that will make you feel as if you have walked straight into a romance movie. Don't say November for your vacation to Switzerland. Say yes, November and enjoy the experience of a lifetime. 